Aloha everyone, what's really good my dudes? Welcome to another RuneScape discussion video. And Merry Christmas by the way. For this video we're going to talk about non-target AoE abilities. As well as abilities in general. So without any further ado, let's jump right into the video. Let's go. Yeah, this is the illest. What you talking about Willis? Alright guys, what started this video, or the idea for it, is a tweet by Mod Ryan, where he says yesterday that after doing a bunch of heavy AoE combat, Elite Dungeons and Shatter Worlds, it's got me thinking about how nice it would be to have some AoE abilities that don't require a target, but can be cast on a specific tile slash area similar to Bladed Dive and Bombs. Which is very interesting to say the least. Reason why I decided to do a discussion video as opposed to, you know, a RuneScape News coverage video, is simply because this this is mainly just a statement, really an observation, and it's not indicative of anything that could be coming in the future, although it might be. So I thought I'd bring it to you guys and discuss it. So basically what this means is, you know, similar to bombs and bladed dive, you would activate the ability and then you would click somewhere in the game world and apply some kind of AoE attack. We've seen this time and time again on many, many different RuneScape bosses. A lot of them have these types of abilities and they basically are area denial abilities where they prevent you from accessing certain parts of the map for the duration that they're out. Some of them last the entire fight, some of them are just a couple of seconds, but either way they make you as a character have to avoid them and a lot of times you're forced to plant them in certain locations and you have to be smart about where you plant them because it could mess you up later in the future. So those are the kinds of things we're talking about, but the player would be able to apply them instead of monsters. And that would be very interesting. It could potentially add a whole new level of gameplay. And they could go even further. I highly doubt they would, but if they went even further and made the AI smart enough to avoid these types of areas, then you could funnel whatever you're fighting into certain parts of the map and it will introduce a new type of strategy into combat that we had not seen before. Although if they do add this, that's not something I think they're going to do with the AI, but it would be cool. Nevertheless, I do think that this is something that is worth exploring because it could introduce new mechanics that the players can use and Jagex can plan around when they do bosses. So yeah, let me know in the comments below, what do you think about these types of abilities? Do you think this is something that is worth doing or are you not interested in it? One thing I do think would be cool though is to add Add, even if it's not non-target to add AOE type of abilities that linger in a specific area and basically they would have an initial target so they would work like every other ability but will stick around on a certain set of squares and continue to do damage on any NPC in that area while it is active. So it will have a lot of the similar aspects of the AoEs that I talked about previously, more specifically with the ones that the bosses do. However, it won't require that you have to do an additional click to place it on the floor, it would just apply it to whatever your current target is. That is something, for example, that I would like to see applied to, let's say, the smoke tendrils ability. Considering magic is very lacking as opposed to the other styles, even if you fortick, it's still falling behind, which most people don't fortick anyway, so it's falling even further behind for those people. But needless to say, I'm pretty sure a lot of people do think that magic needs a buff, so I think that would be something cool that you add to smoke tendrils, maybe become a codex to add a greater smoke tendrils because it is one of the weakest, if not the weakest threshold for magic. So basically it'll still be the channeled ability that it is now, it'll still do the damage that it is now but after it is done it will apply an area effect that will do constant damage to any target that stands on it for a certain duration what that duration is i don't know that's something that jagex would balance but just something like that would be very useful for an ability like that that's very lacking and a style overall that's very lacking as well speaking of i'd be interested to see what kinds of changes you would like to see or maybe improvements some kind of new abilities etc that you would like to see to magic itself kind of derailing from the aoe topic right now but i am interested to see what kind of changes that you would like to see i know a lot of people have said when ricochet and chain had come out that why didn't they just make chain working like ricochet while i definitely do feel like ricochet is extremely powerful and magic feels like it's on the short end of the stick and i do think that chain should get buffed i do not want to see it be the same thing as ricochet because i do want them to try to divert and make the three different styles feel unique and different from one another and it would just be a carbon copy of ricochet so i definitely would want it to be different basically what happens is chain works exactly how it works 
but the next attack that you do, it'll do 50% of that damage to the additional targets as well. So it's a largely even more AoE attack than previous. I think to make it slightly stronger, in addition to that 50% extra hit, it should do another hit at 25% damage. While that doesn't make it on par with Ricochet, it still makes it a very powerful AoE basic ability. So basically, to reiterate, if you hit Chain, it'll hit all of its targets. Whatever targets it hits, your next ability will hit its main target and then do 50% of that damage to all the additional targets that were hit with Chain and then once again hit the additional targets for 25% of that damage to really make it a hard hitting AoE. That combined with the effect of the smoke tendrils that I talked about earlier, where you add the effect on the ground that constantly does damage to enemies, I can see magic being a very effective AoE style. It kind of is already, but it'll be even more so and have a very unique identity to the other two styles. And what would make it even more useful is that we actually start seeing combat encounters that actually make use of these AoE attacks. Right now, most boss encounters are just one versus one. Occasionally you have some minions here and there that are spawning at certain phases in the fight, but by and large, it's a basic one-on-one -on -one fight, so you're not gonna really utilize these AoE abilities. If they started incorporating boss encounters that do have large amounts of AoE or large amounts of NPCs to use your AoEs, then magic would be at the forefront for things like this, and I could definitely see that being utilized. Obviously, the only problem there would be that mechanized chins still exist, so that would be a huge factor in still using range. Although, I guess if you did want to counter that, they could make those monsters have a really low affinity to range to the point where it would be very ineffective but I'm not sure if that's the best route for balancing the combat styles but it is a step in the right direction mainly buffing our magic abilities and the way we interact with the magic skill as it pertains to combat. Also, I definitely think that the special attack for the Staff of Solisca needs a massive buff. The other two, the Saren Godbow and the Zaros Godsword, are greatly used in improving the DPS of melee and range. So I don't see why magic got the short end of the stick here, and I definitely think it needs some major improvements. What I would do specifically is is make it so whenever you spawn the clone, for the duration that it is out, it will simply copy the exact abilities you do. So you effectively get double damage on everything you do while the clone is active. I think that is a massive improvement to the special attack itself and a massive improvement to your DPS if you're planning accordingly and using the most high hard hitting abilities while that special attack is active. I can imagine if we incorporate the AoE improvements I talked about earlier with this new special that this will be a powerhouse of AoE damage. Again, the only problem is mechanized chinchablas and I really almost feel like they should just get rid of them even though I use them on a regular basis, especially with things like rots. I don't know, it's really hard to say. What do you guys think? How would you balance it out? How would you improve magic? to make it on par with the other two styles while still trying to make it unique. Anyways, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. I'm going to wrap up the video there. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you're not subscribed yet and you want to stay up to date on all things RuneScape related and be part of more discussions like this, hit that subscribe button. Anyways, I appreciate you watching. I am out. Aloha.